Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope all of you are doing very well. I'm, I'm back with a new video on embryology and this time on embryonic folding. As you know about types of folding, there are uh, two types of uh, folding according to their planes, division in the planes. One is the median plane fold, uh, embryonic folding in the median plane and embryonic folding in the horizontal plane. First, uh, you, uh, students should have the basic uh, knowledge, basic information that why folding occur and what reason causes the folding of the embryo. And actually the excess the excessive mitotic deviation causes the folding of the embryo now coming to the uh, um, different planes um, folding in the median plane and the horizontal plane uh, okay now uh, sometimes students find it difficult to uh, judge the folding either in median and horizontal plane and how it is going on uh, by just having a view of the diagram this is the a median plane folding folding in the median plane and this is the folding in the uh, horizontal plane now i'm just giving you an example and i hope you i will deliver um, quite uh, and it will be it will be quite feasible for you to judge by just having this uh, presentation suppose this is an embryo okay suppose this is an embryo and this is the frontal view of the embryo and if we divide it into the median plane it would be divided like into two equal halves like this so by just having using one half how folding occur in median plane this is the frontal view and by having the lateral view of the uh, median plane it will be like this this is actually this is the lateral view of the median plane and by uh, this you would have uh, now you have the basic um, uh, basic view and how it is going on the folding in the median plane would be like this from the frontal view it would be like this and laterally it is going on like this which is showing in the diagram like this okay actually front from the front side it is it would be like this so this is the folding in the median plane how folding goes on in the horizontal plane suppose this is an embryo okay and if we divide it into the coronal section coronal section means that if we divide into anterior it, it would be divided into anterior and the posterior equal halves okay now i am just having a uh, drawing I, I have just drawn a line dotted line to show it divided into two parts okay coronal section so just imagine this is the anterior part and and is the cross sectional part okay because anterior and posterior uh, it gives you a cross sectional part on the one side it would be like this okay so this is the uh, coronal section or the horizontal plane division okay in horizontal plane division uh, how would it be fold it would fold like this okay it will be fold like this and it is showing you and uh, the picture is showing you the front side horizontal plane folding okay it is not showing the lateral side as is shown in the median plane so but we have learned that in the median plane the folding is like this and in the lateral view it is like this but in the horizontal plane the folding is like this so this is the basic uh, information uh, about uh, how a uh, basic view uh, uh, that how folding is going on in uh, either median and the horizontal plane now going on going on to the head folding um, the median plane folding and in the median plane folding they are further head folding and the tail folding uh, the median plane folding and i have drawn it like this this is the head folding actually what is how what has what has happened the uh, the median plane we have in a median plane embryo okay and this cross section is shown like this and this uh, sorry cross section this is dot line is showing like this so this is the head portion of the embryo the magnified view of the head portion of the embryo and this is the uh, this is before folding and this is after folding so what has happened um uh, i uh, uh, point likhunga aur usko saath batata jaunga ke diagram ke through so first what happened in the head folding at the beginning of fourth week the neural tube fold in the cranial region forms the primordia of brain so what is the first point 
कि दिस इज द हेड पोर्शन दिस इज द न्यूरल ट्यूब द न्यूरल फोल्ड ओके एंड दिस इज फॉर्मिंग द फोर ब्रेन फॉर्मिंग द ब्रेन ओके दिस फॉर्मिंग द ब्रेन सो दिस एंड दिस रेड पोर्शन इज द नोटोकॉर्ड दिस सिलोम इज द प्राइमोडियल सिलोम एंड दिस रेड पोर्शन इज द प्राइमोडियल हार्ट दिस इज द सेकेंड ट्रांसफर्सन ट्रांसफर्सम विच इज फॉर्मिंग द डायफ्राम इन फ्यूचर एंड दिस पोर्शन इज दिस ओके सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इन द हेड फोल्डिंग इज द डिवेलपिंग ऑफ फोर ब्रेन द डिवेलपिंग brain of four brain grows beyond oropharyngeal membrane and over hangs the developing heart what hap what is this point showing it is showing that the developing forebrain or the brain is after folding or during folding it is oh, it is uh, growing forward and overhangs the developing heart this is the developing heart primordial heart first it was uh, cranially placed but after folding it overhangs over overhangs the the forebrain is overhanging the primordial heart it grow it grows vent uh, caudally and ventrally it was dors it was uh, um, uh, cranially placed and now after fold uh, during folding it was it goes ventrally uh, or um, caudally okay so this point is cleared now third point is also at the same time septum transversum which is the future uh, diaphragm versum the primordial heart primordial heart and cilium oropharyngeal membrane membrane grows or moves ventrally as you can see in the diagram before folding the septum transversum the primordial heart cilium it was placed dorsally okay but after folding the septum transversum septum transversum the primordial cilium the primordial heart it went uh, uh, ventrally it goes ventrally and this is the third step of the head folding now coming to the fourth point during folding by the way the oropharyngeal membrane this one is the oropharyngeal membrane which this is one is the oropharyngeal membrane uh, oropharyngeal membrane which the area between the endo and ecto जहाँ पे एक्टोडम और एंडोडम हमने एक पोर्शन पढ़ा था कि जहाँ पे एक्टोडम और एंडोडम फ्यूज होता है और वहाँ पे मिजोडम नहीं होती इट इज़ अ एरिया वेयर प्रिकॉर्डल प्लेट इज फॉर्म्ड ठीक है वहाँ पे और प्रिकॉर्डल प्लेट बनी होती है ठीक है सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज ड्यूरिंग फोल्डिंग सम पार्ट ऑफ एंडोडम ऑफ अम्बलाइकल वर्जिकल इज इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन टू एम्ब्रियो एम्ब्रियो एज फोर गट विच लाइज बिटवीन फोर ब्रेन एंड प्रेमोडियल हार्ट 
and is further separated from stomodium by urophrenge membrane membrane okay so the fourth step is bit complicated what it means it actually means that uh, uh, during folding some part of the umbilical vesicle get incorporated into the embryo as foregut during folding some part of this is the umbilical vesicle below the umbilical this is the umbilical vesicle so during folding some part of the umbilical vesicle get incorporated into the embryo as foregut this small स्पेस कह लें आप जो भी कह लें दिस इज कॉल्ड फोर गार्ड इस इज एक्चुअली नॉट अ स्पेस यहाँ पे होता है ब्लैक वेजिकल का सारा जो कॉम्पोनेंट होता है वो यहाँ पे होते हैं दिस इज फॉर्मिंग द फोर गार्ड ओके दिस इज नॉट द फोर गार्ड ये जो ये डॉट पोर्शन है ये तो हमारा और फ्रेंजियल को शो कर रहा है दिस वाइट पोर्शन इज द फोर गार्ड ओके अच्छा इसके बाद कह रहा है कि विच लाइज बिटवीन द फोर ब्रेन एंड द प्राइमोडियल हार्ट एंड इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द सोडियम अच्छा ये फोर गार्ड दिस फोर गार्ड इज लाइंग बिटवीन द फोर ब्रेन दिस फोर ब्रेन फोर ब्रेन एंड द प्राइमोडियल हार्ट दिस इज द प्राइमोडियल हार्ट द फोर गट इज लाइंग बिटवीन द फोर ब्रेन द फोर गट इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन द फोर ब्रेन एंड द प्राइमोडियल हार्ट विच इज सेपरेटेड बाय द स्टोमोडियम स्टोमोडियम इज एक्चुअली द फ्यूचर माउथ और ओपनिंग ऑफ माउथ कह हम और वो सेपरेट कौन करें इन दोनों को फोरगट को और स्टोमोडियम को द ओरोफ्रेंजियल मेम्ब्रेन सो This is the folding in the median the head folding in the median plane. अच्छा और जो जो चीज़ें वेंट्रली मूव करती हैं पहले डॉर्सली होती हैं वो वेंट्रली मूव करती हैं वो मैंने आपको साथ साथ एक्सप्लेन कर दिया है सो दिस इज ऑल फ्रॉम दी हेड फोल्डिंग अगर आपको कोई चीज़ समझ नहीं आई देन यू माइट यू मे आस्क इन द कमेंट सेक्शन और आप अगर आपको मेरी वीडियोस पसंद आ रही हैं तो उसको लाइक करें शेयर करें और सब्सक्राइब करें